fishing. Possibly the most rewarding thing in Dark Cloud. And if you're watching this video, that means you want to hunt the biggest, baddest, and meanest fish of all. The Marden and Baron Garians. Whether you're going for the achievement, fishing points, the fancy sword, or you're just trying to help Tone with his Tinder profile, the Garians are the most sought after fish in Dark Cloud for their high point count, devilish good looks, and their ability to detect traps on big chests. I'm here to help you farm these bad boys, so let's begin. First, you're gonna want access to Muskalaka. Raka? Wait, how's it spelled? Oh, oh, no way. They, they wrote it both ways. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> what? Okay, go to Muskalaraka and get the Oasis from the Sun and Moon Temple, then plop that sucker down. Now all you need is bait. Berengarian, the rarest of the fish, likes potato cakes. We can buy them from Brook in Muskalaraka for 450 apiece, if we like being poor. Or, like big smart people, we can go one town further and steal them from moon diggers in the moon sea. You can find them on floors 5, 6, 9, and 13. If you're lucky enough to get the plank, then that lets you go to the back rooms. On floor 1, that back room has only moon diggers. Make sure you have steel on your weapon and farm away to your heart's content. Mardengarian, the slightly less rare younger brother, enjoys poisonous apples. We can buy these from Lena's store up in Queens for 120 a pop. But if you want to steal them, then Witch Ilza in the Wise Owl Forest on floor 6, 7, 8, 11, 12, 14, and 16, as well as back rooms 3 and 5, will have them. You can also get them from Witch Helza in the Moon Sea on floors 1, 2, 4, 6, 12, as well as back rooms 4 and 14. Lastly, we need bait to help us detect if we're fishing up the right game. The last thing we want is for our hard-earned potato cakes to be gobbled up by some guppy. So, we're going to the Wise Owl Forest on floors 10, 11, 12, 13, and 16 to steal from the Earth Diggers to nab a couple minnows. You can also hunt them infinitely in the back room on floor 2, just like the Moon Diggers on the Moon Sea. However, we really don't need that many, as all we're using them for is to detect if the fish we're hunting is a baron or not. Now that we have our bait, let's go to the Oasis. And before anyone says it, I know you can get the Mardens from Matataki's Waterfall, but do you really want to fish Mardens in this? Damn. I can't see fucking shit out of this thing. I didn't think so. Wait till it's dark. That's the orange part of the clock on the top right of the screen. Rumors have it that you can get these fish at night too, but I ain't putting my money on it. Enter and exit the fishing minigame over and over until you get a relatively large size fish in the pond. Note that time doesn't pass when you're in the minigame, so while you're fishing, you can take all the time you need. There's many different sizes of fish, but we're looking for a large and extra large one. The large ones are Mardens, typically and the extra large ones are the barons. Obviously, not all of them are, but in order to check, you just gotta throw the minin into the water, and you should be able to notice pretty quickly if they start going in for a bite. If they don't go for a bite, chances are it's a baron or marden, depending on the size. So toss in either a poisonous apple or potato cake and see if it bites. I tend to check with the apple first, but to each their own. Be patient and wait for the bobble to go under the water and... BAM! Nice! We got ourselves a Marden! These puppies typically cough up over 200 fishing points, and they take roughly 2-5 to five minutes each to grab, give or take a few. With that knowledge, just keep at it, and sooner or later you'll be swimming in fishing points. And don't fret if you don't get a Baron, although those can actually get you upwards of 500-700 to 700 points. I've only ever gotten one myself in this playthrough, and they seem to elude me all the dang time. But thankfully, Mardens spawn pretty regularly. It just takes a bit to gauge their size. I'd like to take a moment to thank the user Jungle Jim on GameFAQs for figuring out monster drops via stealing and where they're located. It's an extremely detailed and useful guide. Also, another user by the name of Dog Eyes that has supplied me tons of information on Dark Cloud, including a list that tells you what you need to build up to every weapon in the game. I have links to these guides in the description and on the pinned comment for this video. Lastly, if you're interested in seeing what Dark Cloud is like with voice acting, I have a series I've made doing just that, where I painstakingly edited the audio to sound like professional voice acting in-game. I hope you get a chance to check out an episode or two. 
Thank you very much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Let me know what other guides you'd be interested in for Dark Cloud. I'm Akamane101, happy fishing, and I'll see you all next time.